Welcome to a special demonstration of the CISREM platform, wherein I will take you step-by-step -step from project creation through data extraction of a managed review we conducted on mangiferin, a substance most notably found in mangoes. For those new to CISREV, CISREV is a machine learning powered platform for document review. CISREV's greatest strength is its versatility, supporting a wide range of review types, from rigorous systematic reviews to more general scoping or strategic reviews, like our example today. The first step in any review is to create a project. Quite simple on CISREV. Enter a project name, click Create, and CISREV will automatically redirect you to the Import Articles dashboard. For review to be conducted, there must be documents to review. Our goal with the Mangiferin review was to inform a decision about whether or not to further research Mangiferin as a non-food additive. For that reason, we decided to review literature describing in vivo experiments which focused on the effects of Mangiferin. As I said before, CISREV is quite flexible in the types of documents we support. Users can upload a variety of documents, including PDFs, RIS or Refman files, EndNote XMLs, or even a .txt of PubMed IDs. Alternatively, we have also built a native PubMed search application within CISREV, which is exactly the tool we use for our Mangiferin project. As a quick side note, we also support direct integrations with a number of other databases, including clinicaltrials.gov. To learn more about custom integrations, contact us directly. Back to our example, we began with a simple search for Mangiferin. Since the search only returned a little more than 700 articles, we decided not to further refine our search. Having chosen the corpus to review, we simply imported the articles and began the screening process. The screening process is when each document is simply reviewed for inclusion. That is, does this document contain valid information relevant to my interests? On your screen is the overview dashboard for the screening portion of our managed review, Project 20571. Mangiferin in vivo screening. As this is a public project, anyone can come to CISREV and find this project at the URL. The first thing you will notice is a project description, including our inclusion criteria. For this managed review, we were only interested in articles that were a primary source, discuss experimental results of an in vivo exposure, and proposed or demonstrated a high level effect. Now, the initial screening process can be very important for reviews. In addition to standardizing inclusion criteria, it also helps the project management team understand the literature, which is important to creating optimal labels or the information to be extracted and achieve the goals of the review. And for CISREV, it trains our machine learning models. But first, in addition to the project description, the overview dashboard details important information about the project. For this managed review, you can see that CISREV founder Dr. Luchtefeld and I reviewed 204 articles, and 51 were reviewed by the both of us. We had some conflicts along the way, but they were resolved. Those paying close attention may notice that this review has 725 articles whereas the import I just showed was for 734. That is because in the time between when we conducted this review and when I began making this video, more studies on Mangiferin had been published. This speaks largely to the idea of and the need for living reviews. To learn more, check out our blog at blog.sysrev.com. But back to our screen. Since the goal of the Mangiferin review was more strategy than rigor, we were able to use CISREV's AI to its full potential. What you see on the left is a prediction histogram for CISREV's inclusion predictor. After 25 articles have been reviewed, CISREV automatically begins predicting whether or not a document will be included. The model automatically updates after each document is reviewed. 
If I deselect unreviewed articles, you can see more clearly how Sysref performed against the reviewers. Although not perfect, this was plenty powerful for our own purposes, especially once one considers the distribution of the unreviewed articles. Long story short, we let Sysref finish the screening. If I go back to the articles page, I can filter the documents by a number of attributes, one of which is the inclusion predictor. Although we wish to save time and be efficient, we still did not want to exclude any valid information. For that reason, we decided to include any document that the inclusion predictor said had at least a 25% chance of being included. Although that may seem conservative, it still reduced the number of articles from 725 to 292, resulting in substantial time savings in the data extraction phase. As a quick note, were the purpose of this project to perform a systematic review, we would have manually screened every document. However, the purpose and intent of our project gave us the flexibility to optimize our time. To begin the data extraction phase, I simply exported the articles and created a new project. Sysref makes it pretty easy to clone projects. And so what you are about to see are a couple of snapshots detailing the progress of the data extraction phase. The first snapshot shows the new project before any extraction had been performed. All we had done at this point was uploaded the documents we had just exported. In fact, if I go to the review page, this project still looks like a simple screen. That is because we have yet to create any labels. Labels on Sysrev are the pieces of information to be extracted. As you can see, they come in three varieties, Boolean, Categorical, and String. To get a more detailed explanation of labels, check out our other demo videos. By the second snapshot of the data extraction phase, Dr. Luchtefeld and I had decided on 14 labels shown here. You can see the types of information we were interested in including dose, species, disease, and outcomes. You can understand why those pieces of information were important to our review. To make sure we were satisfied with our choice of labels, we even reviewed a number of documents ourselves and performed the extraction. That was before we decided to take advantage of another unique feature of SysRef contract reviewers. This is the overview dashboard for project 21696, Mangiferin in vivo compensated data extraction. Like the screening portion of this managed review, this project is public, which means that anyone can come to this URL and find the project. As implied by the name, the rest of this data extraction phase was performed by contract reviewers. Contract reviewers are paid contractors who perform reviews on CISREV for sponsor organizations. While there is no obligation to use contract reviewers, it is a resource for interested parties, and it is quite easy to sponsor a review. Simply contact us to learn more. As you can see, we included a much more detailed project description to better help the reviewers. In addition to the inclusion criteria, we added a data extraction guide which gave important information about each label. We decided to pay reviewers $2 per article for a number of reasons, the largest of which was simply the complexity of the extraction task. That said, it is up to each sponsor to decide on compensation levels. As I scroll down, you can see the progress bars for the review. All 292 articles were reviewed with over 100 being dual reviewed, and the entire extraction process took about two weeks. More interesting, the reviewers were able to extract a lot of information. Shown here is a bar chart of the answer counts for each Boolean and categorical label. Clicking on any one label, say liver, will automatically redirect me to a filtered articles dashboard. All of the articles that I'm shown here we're given the value liver 
for the label organ. If I click on any article, I will see each label ascribed by each reviewer. All of this information is exportable to CSV, and we also support programmatic access for our more tech-savvy friends. By its completion, the Manjafarin Managed Review had extracted over 3,500 pieces of information from 292 of the original 725 documents. Start to finish, the process lasted about three weeks and only cost $850 in contract reviewer expenses. I hope what I have demonstrated today is CISREV's versatility and wide range of applications, including use cases that allow for optimization, such as strategic and scoping reviews. For those who wish to explore more, links for the Manjafarin screening and data extraction projects are in the description box. And as always, feel free to contact us with any questions. Until next time, thanks for watching.